All right, so there we go. Absolutely nailed that balloon right there. Now, what I'm doing is I had a broken hour, so I was like, might as well do some target practice because what I'm doing today is I'm in northern New South Wales on my mate's private property, and he let me come down to this creek, and he says there's a lot of catfish in there. There was just a bit of a flood, so the water is a bit murky, but yeah, it looks like I still got my shot. And what we're gonna be trying to do is shoot, cook, and eat these catfish. Now, I'm gonna be doing a catch and cook, as you might know by the title, but yeah, I got my red zone 55 pound bow, couple arrows in the back, so let's start heading down to this creek, and hopefully we'll catch some catfish. <laughs> down here, that one just down there, that has heaps of eel tail catfish in it. Now, I came down here a couple days ago and saw about five big ones around 50 to 60 centimeters just sitting in the shallows. And if we could get one that size, that would be awesome. So what we're gonna try to do, head down to this pool and try get one. So let's head down there and hopefully we're in luck. So I got the cameras going at the moment just in case we do see a catfish straight away down here. Now, I'm not saying we will, but there's a very good chance that there's one sitting just in the shallows. <laughs> Here's the big one down here. Really? So you might not be able to see it, but there's a massive eel tail catfish sitting down there. And if I hit him, I'm jumping in straight away without a doubt. This could be my only chance. Got him. Got him. That's a kill shot straight away. He's dead right now, okay. And that is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we get the eel tail catfish. First shot right through the head. And that's what we came down here for. That's the reason we traveled all this way to get this big fella. And I'm so glad I got it on the camera now. Right, there's probably about four or five more eel tail catfishes in here, but yeah. Take a look at that. You can see that scar on his tail right there. That's from fighting with other catfishes. At the moment, they come down here and they're breeding. So this is quite a nice size one at the moment. It'd probably be around that 40 to 50 centimeter mark. And they do get much bigger. These guys have been reported over a meter long, which is just insane. And these spikes, they may look like fins. They're very venomous. If you get spiked by them, mate, you're gonna know about it. And yeah, got him right through the head. He was dead almost instantly. The legal limit for these guys is 35 centimeters. And if you're gonna be bow fishing for these catfish, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're certain. And this guy was well over it, sitting in the shallows right next to this bank. But yeah, he's gonna feed me really well. All right, so how cool was that? Within the first 30 minutes, we managed to catch a nice size catfish. Now, I'm pretty happy that we didn't get a monster catfish today because I don't really like shooting ones too big, but it's cool to see the big ones still swimming around in the creek system. But we got that one, and what we're gonna do now is gut it, make a little fire, and cook it up. And I'm really excited to eat it. I haven't eaten all day, and it's the afternoon at the moment, so it'll be a good feed, and I'm really happy to see how it tastes. We haven't brought anything up the creek, like seasoning or anything, but you know what, that's basically like all my other videos as well. We always forget to bring stuff, but that's all right. They still taste really good. And how we're gonna actually cook the catfish is we're gonna get some aluminum or aluminium foil and cook it up in a fire. We're gonna wrap the catfish in that. And oh yeah, we've also got some potatoes. We might cook them up as well. I'm not sure how they will go, but yeah. So let's get this fire started. Put a bit more passion in there. So let's get this fire started, boys. With an accent. All right, mate, let's get this fire started. Another one? All right, no, let's stop. <laughs> so here we got the caddy down here and I left him in this uh, little screen running down here for about 20 minutes so far. It, I'm not sure if it'll do anything, but Often, if you get dirty fish that taste a bit dirty, you normally leave them in fresh water and it cleans them all out. So we've just been leaving them in there just to clean them all out a bit. And then we'll gut him now. And this one's quite a nice size one, actually. And what we're gonna do, just make a cut down here and just remove all those guts. So then just wash all of them out. All right, so we're cooking this catfish in the most simple way. We're just wrapping them in our foil and chucking them straight in the fire, but they still do taste really good. I think I've cooked catfish more times than I've cooked anything else on my channel, but yeah, take a look at that. We'll wrap it in the alfoil and get the fire going. Oh, mate. All right, so we got the caddy, we got two potatoes and one sweet potato, and the alfoil right here. And it's pretty simple what we do. We'll do the potatoes first and the catfish after. Grab the potato, and then just wrap it in it. We'll do that three times. Can you do it? Only one way to find out. No. Nope. 
Then we'll put the caddy on there. And now let's hope this lights. Well, that was a bit of a struggle. First off, when we were collecting the wood, Dad went into a wasp nest and probably got stung about a hundred times. And then he had a whole handful of wood and he dropped it when he was getting stung. And then he was so keen to go back and get the wood that he went back in, got it, and got stung another hundred times. When I was collecting wood, I ripped this thing out of a tree and fell in the water. I got that on video too, which I was quite happy about. But then we were down to our last match. Everything was just going wrong. But we managed to get the fire. We got all the things ready. And I would have had to walk like five kilometers back to the house to get some more matches if that didn't work. But yeah, we'll chuck the potatoes in. I'm actually keen to have a bit of a feed after all that. Well, that didn't work, did it? Don't throw it. No, we'll throw it you catch it. No, Two the catfish Drop spines. That. No, it's all right. Sideways. I'm going to throw it sideways no, and you catch it. No, you're no, not. You're Ready? All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. I had a bit of a swim while I was waiting just down there. And yeah, it's ready to take off now. I'm really excited to eat the catfish and potatoes. So yeah, let's get it off. Normally catfish don't look amazing, but they do taste quite good. Gordon Ramsay would be shaking his head right now. I'm hoping that it tastes better than it looks, because if it tastes anything like that, then I'm not sure if I want to be eating it right now. So I'm going to be camping up the creek tonight, so this is going to be some really good energy for then. But yeah, I'm really excited to see how this tastes. Sweet potatoes, potatoes, catfish, you can't get any better. So we'll cut a bit off and give it a test. Bone apple tea. It's actually pretty good, better than I was actually thinking. So there we have it. That's an amazing adventure. We went bow fishing down the creek and literally the first shot that I took, I managed to get a big catfish. Now we have seen about six or seven catfish since then, but I don't want to take any more. Those animals are just too cool. So we got to keep them in the creek system. And yeah, I'm really happy about that. I think I might go for a bit of a swim now, maybe do some little jumps off the cliffs and stuff, but yeah. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a different one. I haven't done bow fishing in a while, so I really hope you enjoy it. And if you did like this kind of stuff, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and when you do subscribe, make sure you turn on post notifications. It basically just notifies you when I upload a video. And if you wanna go follow me on my social medias, it's just Instagram up here, as you can see, just Miller Wilson. Snapchat, Miller underscore Wilson, and then the Facebook, Miller Wilson up there. So thank you so much. I'll see you again on the next adventure.